Halifax Town still have the support many football league clubs would be proud of. Over 500 travel to Staley Bridge, but for the players, life is very different. No team bus, and there have also been setbacks on the pitch, like losing 5-0 at Runcorn. We were so depressed, it was unbelievable. And, you know, I was trying to stop him killing himself, and he was trying to stop me killing himself, and I wouldn't live near the gas bar in the, in the dressing room, and all sorts of stuff like, you know, he was trying to get into the palace seat tomorrow. It was really, really an awful sort of seven days, but that was then, this is now. Peter Rags, the new manager with former boss Mick Rathbone, now player, coach and physio. Rags, an experienced non-league boss, Staley Bridge was one of his many former clubs and he's brought a few old heads with him. I think one of the reasons they went down last season was their age. I mean, when I came in, I mean, it was ridiculous. I mean, there was bottles of milk with teats in the dressing room, you know. I mean, we are a very, very young side and uh, most of the boys I brought in are a little bit at the other end of the scale, 29, 30, 31, and uh, we're just trying to get the happy mix, really. The, the sad thing is that the boys we've lost were full-time and now the, the team's near enough split now, half part-time and half full-time. Some of the young talent has now gone. Chris Lucchetti, just a spectator, after a move to Bury. Since he's gone, it's been a remarkable two weeks. Halifax have scored six against both Woking and Telford. But they came down to earth with a bump at Staley Bridge. Young midfielder Rob Jackson shocking Halifax with a superb goal. The two sides have met before, but that was in the 1920s in the third division north. Since then, they've had very different paths. Staley Bridge were in the Cheshire League just 10 years ago. Halifax's league experience made them favourites to win the conference, but that pressure has been a burden, even though they won a point at Staley Bridge, thanks to Kevin Megson. The Halifax Town haven't won anything in 73 years. So, I mean, the ex I mean, why people have got them expectations is just simply because we've come down a level. But sometimes coming down a level is actually more difficult than going up a level. <laughs> The Halifax fans still have some of their favourites, though skillful midfielder Jason Peake could be the next on his way out. The former Barclays Young Eagle of the Month has been linked with Tranmere. But some of the new faces are gaining popularity. Goalkeeper Nick Brown was in the British World Student Games team recently as was Sean Constable, a talented winger who's also distinctive because of his goatee beard. He's a smashing lad and sometimes in the hard bitten world of professional football to get a student, well he's a hippie, student hippie, whatever he is like, you know, to come to the club, it's a breath of fresh air, he, he plays with different attitude and things that maybe above the average professional line and little things, he, he, he like bristles past them all, so he's been a breath of fresh air to us. You don't get many people looking like him in the football league, do you? <laughs> Yeah, a few in the Bible, but not many in the Football League. A draw at Staley Bridge keeps Halifax in mid-table, but Peter Rag believes Halifax have turned the corner as they bid to return to the Football League. Alan Mitchell, Sky Sports.